Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be sharing with you guys another fall fashion video. I always love filming these for you and if you're new here, my name is Candice. Welcome to this channel. I make videos about capsule wardrobes, simple fashion, motherhood, and I just love sharing little bits of my life here over on YouTube. So if you're interested, please hit that subscribe button because your support really helps my channel. All right, let's get into today's video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my top fall essentials. And I know that this is gonna look different for everyone depending on your style, your lifestyle, the weather, where you live. There are so many factors to consider when it comes to your wardrobe. So I'm gonna be sharing with you things that I consider to be essential just for this fall season. But before I get into the essentials, I want to say a huge thank you to today's video sponsor, Ana Luisa. A few months ago, I worked with Ana Luisa on another video and I got to try their jewelry for the first time. And I have to say, their pieces are amazing and have held up so well. The jewelry has not tarnished at all and the clasps of the earrings have stayed tight, which I know for me is a huge problem that I have with a lot of other earrings. I find that over time, as the earrings get worn and with wear and tear, the clasps starts to get loose and sometimes when I'm wearing them the earrings will fall off but that does not happen with my Ana Luisa earrings which is a huge plus for me. I also love that their jewelry is so timeless and also extremely affordable. Their jewelry pieces are definitely year-round closet essentials for me because I find that really classic timeless jewelry pieces help to elevate any outfit that I'm wearing whether it be a simple lounge outfit or something a little bit dressier. Each piece also comes with a little dust bag that you can store your pieces in to make sure that they stay in really great condition and I also find that it's really handy to have a little dust bag for when you're traveling. A little while back in March, I traveled to Hong Kong on an international flight and the jewelry stayed nice and safe and packed really well in those little dust bags. So if you're interested in trying out some pieces from Ana Luisa, make sure to use my discount code CANDICE20. It will give you 20% off or you can click the link in the description box below and it will take you right to the site. All right, let's get into my fall essentials. So I'm gonna start off with the tops. I always think it's good to have some base layers in a wardrobe. So in the cooler seasons, like fall and winter, I like to incorporate some long sleeved ones. I particularly like cotton because they're lightweight and breathable and they're great to layer under things or to wear on its own. And oftentimes we have some sweaters that might give you a little bit of an itch, um, but if you layer a base piece underneath, then you can wear that sweater comfortably and not feel itchy. So here are just two examples. I have one that is like a ribbed one and it's cropped, so it's great to wear on its own. And it also has a bit of a lower neckline. Um, this one's from Everlane. And then I also love basics from Cotton. They have really good closet staples. This one's just a classic crew neck one, perfect for wearing on its own or layering under some other pieces. And then it really wouldn't be my wardrobe without a couple of button-up shirts. So here are just two from my closet this season. I really love button-up shirts because they're so versatile. They can be worn on its own. They can be worn kind of like a jacket or underneath pieces as well. And they're just such a great layering piece. And especially now that I'm in a postpartum season, I'm nursing on the go all the time. Button-up shirts are just a quick way to get dressed in the morning. And I have a few of them in my wardrobe. These are just two that I brought down as an example for you. So I have this one that is kind of like a more feminine, delicate one. I've had this one in my wardrobe for years, so you would have probably seen this in many of my videos. Um, but I really like the style of this one. And then I also have this one that I've been wearing a lot since the springtime. I love that it's a classic button-up shirt silhouette, but it has a fun striped detail on it. It adds a really nice pop of color to my wardrobe, and I think it just makes my outfits a lot more interesting. I do tend to lean more on the neutral side of a wardrobe, trying to delve a little bit more into color and pattern this season. So I'm just incorporating subtle pops of color and pattern through pieces like this. Next up, I really love jackets, and my favorite type of jacket to wear in the fall are definitely like structured button-up shirt type jackets, which I guess are essentially button-ups, but a little bit more structured, a little bit thicker for those cooler days. So here's one that I've been wearing a ton. I also have some jackets that are just more like an oversized fit. This one here is from Rachel Pally. It's great to just throw on on top of, for example, like that base layer, just for added warmth and a little bit of fun to an outfit. I think fall is a perfect season to incorporate jackets and coats. 
So this is the season that I would also incorporate lots of trench coats and wool jackets as well as a nice quilted jacket. And I've had this quilted jacket in my closet for a few years as well. I love it because it's a little bit thicker again. Um, so as it gets deeper into fall, closer to winter, I like to layer up with a couple of thicker jackets. I am still on the lookout for a good classic trench coat. So if you know of any, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to check them out. Next up are sweaters and knitwear and it's such an essential for me in my wardrobe. I particularly love classic cardigans like this. So if I were to pick a few different styles of knitwear, I would recommend a cardigan like this one I'm wearing here. It's a really classic fit. And then of course the chunky sweaters. This one here is from Cotton. I love this beautiful cable knit style sweater. It's really classic looking and I just love cozying up in a really oversized chunky sweater in the cooler seasons. So that's one and then as I mentioned, I'm trying to incorporate pops of color this season, so I have this one here that I found secondhand on Poshmark. It's a really beautiful blue color. It's such a nice way to add color to my wardrobe this season. So I definitely think it's great to have a few knitwear pieces in your wardrobe. Moving on to the bottoms, I personally am a denim lover and I love jeans. So jeans are definitely an essential for me in my wardrobe. If I had to choose, I would just pick one dark pair and one light pair of jeans. So here are just two examples of what I have in my wardrobe this season. These are both from Cotton. They are the anti-fit denim. I sized up in one so that it has a baggier fit and one that is more my classic fit. I'm really loving the oversized loose fit of jeans this season. So these are definitely a staple for my wardrobe this year. Next up in the bottoms category are trousers. I like wearing trousers year round, but they are definitely essential in my fall wardrobe as well. I'm not much of a dress or skirt person. I personally really love pants. So trousers are definitely an essential for me as well. I tend to go for trousers and pants on days when I'm feeling like I want a little bit more of a loungy feeling to my outfit or something that is a little bit more comfortable than jeans, although I do think jeans are comfortable um, the more that you wear them. So I have this pair here from Eileen Fisher. And then the ones that I'm wearing right now are from Free Label and they are more of a wide leg fit. So again, with my pants, I prefer everything to be high-waisted and comfortable and loose. So those are two styles of trousers that are essential for my fall wardrobe. All right, moving on to footwear. For early fall, an essential piece for me would be some kind of slip-on shoe. So I have these mules here, for example. It could be mules, loafers, or flats, but I have these ones here from Fortress of Inca, and they also add a nice pop of color to my wardrobe with this beautiful, warm-toned olive green. And I think slip-on shoes are perfect for those early fall days when it's still a little bit hot outside but chilly enough for a closed-toed shoe. I love these slip-on shoes because they're easy to wear, easy to style, and they feel super comfortable as well. Another staple for me year-round are sneakers. So of course I have to include my New Balance sneakers. I wear these almost daily because I have two kids, I'm always running around, so it's often most practical and most comfortable for me to be in sneakers. So I have these New Balance sneakers that I love to wear. It wouldn't be a fall essential wardrobe without some boots. So if I had to pick one style of boot for my fall wardrobe, it would definitely be Chelsea boots because they are such a classic style. They're comfortable and practical as well. And I feel like they kind of just go with everything in my wardrobe. So I have this pair here from Red Wing. They are my go-to boots in the fall and winter because they're just so comfortable to wear, easy to slip on, and they're practical to keep my feet warm and also dry when it starts to get a little bit wet with the snow. So Chelsea boots are a definite staple for me in the colder months. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share with me your fall essentials in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that and what you consider to be essential in your wardrobe this season. And before we go, make sure to check out Ana Luisa if you're interested in picking anything up. And make sure to use my discount code CANDICE20 or click the link in the description box down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!